In this lesson, I'm going to do examples of finding limits that approach infinity. Okay. All right. So the first one we have is that uh, we have the limit of 2x plus 5 all over 3x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity. So the way we do this okay, is that we look in the denominator and we, we identify the variable with the highest, uh, with the highest degree. In this case, we have x squared here. So what we're going to do is we divide each term by x squared. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches infinity of 2x all over okay, x squared plus 5 over x squared all divided by 3x squared divided by x squared plus 1 over x squared. And then from here, okay, we can simplify. So we're going to get 2 over x plus 5 over x squared divided by 3 okay, plus 1 over x squared. Okay. All right. So, okay, looking at this term, okay, looking at this value or this term, as x approaches infinity, 2 over x is going to approach 0. Okay. Same thing with this one. We have 5 over x squared. As x gets larger in the denominator, the overall result will, will approach 0. Okay. And in this term also, we have 1 over x squared. So as x approaches infinity, this is going to go to 0. Okay. So basically, uh, we are left with 0 over 3. And this gives us 0. Okay. So what this tells us is that um, not only is this the limit, but this is also describing the, uh, this also tells us the horizontal asymptote, okay? Which in this case is y equals zero, okay? Okay, and so you can see that here in this figure, okay, here's our function. And you can see that in as x approaches infinity and also minus infinity, the uh, we can see that the uh, function will start to uh, gets closer and closer to the x-axis, which is which represents y equals zero. Okay, so there is a another way you could have done this, and if you if you've taken a pre-calculus class, then you recall that if the degree on the bottom is bigger than the degree on the top, then you then you would recognize that the horizontal asymptote is zero. Okay, so it's it's another it's kind of a shortcut way of doing this. Okay, so we have recall we have degree two he, two here. Okay, and here we have degree one. Okay, so okay. So again, whenever the degree on the bottom is bigger than the degree on the top, um, we're always going to get a, uh, the horizontal asymptote will always be y equals zero. Okay, so the way, the original way that I approach the limit here is the more general way. Okay, because this works nicely, um, uh, this shortcut that I showed here with the degrees, it only works with rational functions, okay. So later on in another video, uh, we're going to have to use the uh, first approach that I showed you here. Okay, all right. But at least we can we can check we can verify our results using the shortcut. Okay, all right. The second one. Okay. All right. Second one is uh, this function. Okay, so we can approach this in the same manner as we did in the first first limit. So we identify the term with the largest degree, okay, on the denominator, that would be x squared. So we're going to take the limit of 2x squared all over x squared plus 5 over x squared all divided by 3x squared divided by x squared plus 1 over x squared. Okay, and okay, simplifying this, this is going to give us 2 plus 5 over x squared 
all divided by 3 plus 1 over x squared. Okay? All right, so in this case, we have right, this part. As x approaches infinity, this is going to go to 0. As x approaches infinity, this is going to go to 0. So therefore, we're left with 2 thirds. Okay? All right. So that means uh, for this function, okay, we have a horizontal okay, asymptote at y equals to two thirds. Okay, and that's what you see here. Okay, oops. Sorry. So here's the graph. Okay, and this red dotted line indicates our horizontal asymptote which is y equals two-thirds, okay? So again, uh, since it's a rational function, we can look at the degrees, okay? So the degree of this polynomial is equal to two, and the degree of this polynomial is also two, okay? So when the degrees are equal, okay, for given a rational function, uh, if you want to find the horizontal asymptote, we just take the ratio of the leading coefficients. Okay, and so that's their value of two-thirds. Okay. Alright, so much like the same similar here, okay. The only difference is that the degree here on the denominator is bigger than the degree on the top. Okay, so we ended up getting zero. Okay. Alright. So okay, third third limit. Okay. Again, we identify the de the largest degree in the denominator. In this case, it's x squared. Okay, so we can rewrite this as two x cubed over x squared plus five over x squared, all divided by three x squared over x squared plus one over x squared. So we're going to take the limit of this as x approaches infinity. So, okay, so actually, um, yeah, so we can simplify this. So x, so 2x cubed over x squared, that leaves us with 2x. So we have plus 5 over x squared, all divided by 3 plus 1 over x squared. Okay. So as x approaches infinity, this term is going to zero. Okay, this term is also going to zero. And so what we're left with, okay, uh, we get two x over three. But as x approaches infinity, this is going to infinity. Okay. So as a result, we get uh, infinity over three, which is inf infinity. So here the limit doesn't exist. It's unbounded, okay? So that means there is no vertical asymptote here, okay? No vertical, I'm sorry, no horizontal asymptote. Okay. All right, so there's no horizontal asymptote in this case. Okay, but we do have something called a, a slant asymptote, okay, here, all right, okay, and you can see that there's a, uh, this graph is following a, uh, a line, okay, so it's, it's convert, it's approaching a line um, that is not, that is neither horizontal nor vertical, okay, so we call these uh, slant asymptotes, or sometimes they're referred to as oblique asymptotes, so uh, this will be discussed in another video, okay? All right, so those are the uh, These are the three Different outcomes uh, for a rational function. So the first one, right, we could have a uh, If you have or you could have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero That occurs if the degree in the denominator is bigger than the degree of the numerator, okay? Uh, the second one is that we have the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. In that case, we would take the uh, the ratio of the leading coefficients. Okay, and the third case here, okay, we have 
In this case, we had the degree in the, deno in the denominator was smaller than the degree of the numerator. Okay. Okay, so we had degree three on top, degree three and uh, degree of two on the bottom. Okay, so whenever again, whenever you have a degree bigger, and uh, if the degree in, in the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, we end up getting uh, we don't have any. There's no horizontal asymptote. Um, instead, we get what's called uh, oblique or slant asymptotes. Okay.